person um yeah like no that's a really good point i think because arguably it's just easier to be a man and so therefore you're like well it's easier for why you is to it, get a why is it easier to be a man when men? i mean the gender pay gap just says it all and okay it's really but, but there's also a gap in like men commit suicide more yeah, yeah men yeah. are dropping out of colleges but more. that's toxic masculinity that men can't speak about so then feelings. so then why do why are we saying that there's like a patriarchy when men have it hard too like yeah, why no, do, no, are you just said you said you just said women have it harder than men but if women had it harder than men like then why are more I didn't men... say they had it harder. I just said it was easier to be a guy. Then, but so. okay, if it's easier to be a guy, then why do more men commit suicide? Because they, they feel because of toxic masculinity, which is perpetuated by both men and women, mm -hmm. they feel like they have to be macho, and mm -hmm. I don't subscribe to that. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we back going to new video. Today, we're going to be checking out when modern women get humbled instantly. Okay, this is going to be amazing. Let's get right into it. Modern women have been breaking barriers and redefining traditional roles. Hmm. But what happens when intellectuals drop truth bombs on them? My answer is, I don't know. We, we do Whatever need you... men, though. We do. We don't need them. Here are two such instances when modern women get humbled. Yes. What do you bring to the table to a man outside of sex? What What do you think she will bring no, besides no, no, no. sex? I'm going on, I'm on the panel. Have you ever been in a relationship that you obviously have sex, but what does she bring to the table besides that? Tell me. Well, I'm asking you questions. <laughs> uh, I'll, I have an answer, but I would like to know yours. Okay, well. Okay, um, yeah, I'm supportive, I'm ambitious, I'm adventurous, okay. um, I'm definitely open minded, you know, to a lot of things. So, yeah, I'm a good time. I'm cool. a good time. All right. My answer is I don't know. I don't know what I would bring to the table. You never this is know. Me. You like it, you don't. You know, let's find out. Let's figure it out together. Wait, you said you have a boyfriend, though, right? Yeah, I do. Well, well what do you do for him then? Oh, a lot of things. Do you want to know? I mean, we <laughs> literally just asked you that. Do you want to ask him? Yeah. I'm asking you. I mean, you, you said, I'm not sure what I bring to the table. And then I'm like, wait, aren't you in a relationship? Honestly, when I'm in a relationship, I'm not like, what am I bringing to the table? Is he happy if I do this? I don't question myself all the time. I'm like, this is who I am. I Maybe saying, today. Can, 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 but do you, you notice something interesting? Yes. When you were asked what you're looking for long term, you had a laundry list of stuff you mentioned. But then when you were asked, what do you bring to that person? Then you're like, I don't know. Do you understand how there's like a confusion there? <laughs> it's, no, it's not confusing for me. I don't know if there's somebody else that's not as confused as you. All right, I'm the confused one. I'll take that. <laughs> I'm as confused I'm, I'm, I'm as you confused guys too. are. That girl said, I have an answer, but I want to hear yours first. Then when it got to her, she said, I don't know. That's legitimately how middle schoolers talk when they can't admit they don't know something. I feel terrible for her boyfriend that stuck with a woman with the emotional maturity of a child. At least Thank you. she admits that she doesn't know the answer. Unlike this next woman who is completely delusional, and I think that we need to stop pretending that women are like pathetic or need a man or X, Y, Z. And it's like, no, baby, back yourself. Yeah, back we, yourself. we do Whatever need you... men though. We do. We don't need them. We then do. They're... No, because they're lesbians. Who do, you, who do you call to get your car fixed? A man or a woman? Your toilet breaks down. Who do you call? A so man I, or a woman? I fix my own car. I can, I can okay. do, I'm who, most who, mechanics. Your power, do... your power supply, who runs it? Who runs the infrastructure of society, men or women? Oh, at the moment, men, obviously, because yeah, so, of patriarchy. So we, so, cause of, cause of, because oh, of patriarchy. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> she clearly wasn't expecting Pearl to ask such questions, so she immediately started blaming it on patriarchy, patriarchy. which was expected, but Pearl was just getting started. Um, wait, wait, do so I need a man? The, the no, this is. I'm obsessed with being what? a woman in a male-dominated industry. Okay, I do wait, all of my what, own carpentry. Can we, can we go back I do to all my own, like... Uh, Right, but, but regardless of that, like you agree that men run the infrastructure, so therefore- Oh, at the we, moment, we, yeah, men run the world. The, so they, we need men. Mm, yeah, 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 on a, on a we, wider scale, yes. yes. On a wider scale, on a personal scale, no, because you don't need a man I'm, to provide for you. Right, you can earn right, our own but, wage. But, but, but we need men to run the industries that keep us alive and well. Not necessarily, no. So, Because I know female mechanics, engineers, right, but, carpenters. But remember, remember, that's exception. Like those industries are like 99% male. Yeah, but for now. Right. For now, do you and we can change that? We can. With but, but do we, we do? We, but do we want to change that? Some women do. Some so women how, don't. How do you know the difference between women picking the industries they want to pick, and, <laughs> and trying to the, pay jockey? And, no, no, no. I'm saying like, like, how do you know the difference between women picking the industries they want to pick, 
So like, I don't know a lot of girls that want to be plumbers, mechanics, engineers, and all that stuff. Me. Right, but you're the exception. You're not the rule. I don't no, know many. No, exactly. That's what yeah, I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. So, so when you say things like it's because of, but the I'm hate, still valid. But you're still valid. But I'm saying when you say things like because of the patriarchy, that's why women aren't in those fields. How do you know it's the patriarchy and not women choosing what they want to choose? Well, you don't, and but that's not my right. business. Right. That's not my business. Yeah, I know. But like, why do you automatically assume patriarchy? I don't know. Automatically assume it, but that's why we need men because of the patriarchy. Right. Because, because they are the ones who, at the moment, control most of the world. Notice how Pearl explains to her the importance of men in today's world and how she was just an exception. You may have also noticed this man who was calmly listening to both of them. For the whole time, he was cooking something up his sleeve that no one expected. Okay. You just said that you would like a man who earns more than you and who can take care of you, which most women prefer as well. Do you not think that's very anti-feminist of you? No, 100%, 100%. And I know that comes from um it comes from quote unquote daddy issues it comes from growing up in poverty and it comes from also being do you not think it's just natural part of being a woman i, I can only speak of my own experience yeah yeah so for you do you not think that desire to have a man who can take care of you is just part of being a woman for you no because i'm not straight so yeah do you do you Wait, i have a question are you are you bi i'm pansexual uh, what is it? I don't know what that means. Um, so pansexual means that you are open to the possibility of being attracted to anyone regardless of sex, gender, well, you, age, you, you, you did just say you wanted a man that yeah, yeah, yeah. you. So okay, okay. So if, yeah. if, if it was a man, that's it. If okay. it was a woman, if it was someone who was transgender, it might be different. Okay. Question, yeah. why? Because I have a couple of friends who are bi, who date men and women, and they apply a different standard for men than they do for women. Why is that? Um... Because if it's about the person, it's not about yeah. the gender. It's yeah. about the person. Yeah. Why would you? Why do you? Why do you apply different standards for a man? And I would argue, maybe because I'm a man, but I argue the standards you have for men are a lot higher than the standards you would have for a woman. Why? Why do you have? Why do you apply different standards depending on the gender? When, arguably, if you date both, it's actually about the person. Um. Yeah. Like. No. That's a really good point. I think because arguably it's just easier to be a man, and so therefore you're like, well, it's easier for why you is to it, get a race. Why is it easier to be a man when men? I mean, the gender pay gap just says it all. And okay, it's really but real. but there's also a gap in like men commit suicide more. Yeah, men yeah. are dropping out of colleges but more. But that's toxic masculinity that men can't speak about. Oh my about. goodness! So then, so then why do, why are we saying that there's like a patriarchy when men have it hard too? Like yeah, why no, no, are you just said you said you, you, you yeah. just said women have it harder than men? But if women had it harder than men, like then why are men? I didn't men? say they had it harder. I just said it was easier to be a guy. Then, but so. okay, if it's easier to be a guy, then why do more men commit suicide? Because they they feel because of toxic masculinity which is perpetuated by both men and women mm -hmm. they feel like they have to be macho and mm -hmm. i don't subscribe to that at all mm -hmm. i'm very much like um, well it, could it be possible that men have a harder life than women yeah of course it could be possible of course it could be okay so yeah. that that would like contradict what you said earlier damn this lady she's 100 percent dunujana 100 percent like not in less not in high 100 percent she's just pissing me off Ever since I just had a conversation right there, she's, she's making me really, really angry. How in the world do you tell me it's easier for men? How in the world is it easier for men? Men are dying like rapidly every day. Men are passing through stress. Oh my goodness. Pan, pan, is that pan she said? Is there a word like that, Pansex? <laughs> She's open to her, anyone. Like, it's just how, it's crazy how this world is turning out to be that people are just delusion, that people are just, are just making up words, are just, are just, are just making everyone confused. Like, why, we, we can't just, we can't just, like, what, what, do, what, the, what do you mean by that? The, the first lady they asked, um, she said, she don't know what she brings to the table. Like, how in the world will you not know what to bring to the table? Aside sex, what else? You literally don't know. Okay, that is good. You admitted it. But at the same time, you are, you are having that ego. Like, why, why, why the ego? Why, why are you raising your shoulder for? You are in a relationship. You, you absolutely know nothing what to, bring to the, what to bring to the relationship. Nothing aside sex. And you are in a relationship. This modern women, like, they are... There's something that's like, how do you get here in the first place? Like, how in the world do you get to this to this point?
of Tunisian Tunisian women or people who have no focus, pan pan pansexual. The last the last lady the lady who said she don't need me like she pissed me off. She just triggered me. Like how in the world will you not need a man in the society? You are bringing the word of patriarchy. Well, how, what what does patriarchy has to do with you needing a man in, in society or with you needing a man in your life? How does society, how does patriarchy come to the table in that now? Just tell me. She just pissed me off. Like she's just she's just blabbing. I could not hear what she's always saying again. This this is getting really alarming. Like this society we are in right now, it's 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 bad. It's bad. Like I feel like I should I should run away. But I can't go anywhere unless I die. It's it's serious. Because this society it's it's turning into something else. Like we never imagined we we'll ever get to here. This transgenderism, the LGBTQ plus society, like like we don't need a man, a feminism aspect, we don't need a man when when you can walk. I, I, I'm a mechanic myself. I, I, I can do plumbing work myself. You, so you can do electrical work yourself. You can do everything. You, what? The, the, the confidence you have. And such a lady that, who, who is speaking like her, when she gets to a scenario like the mechanic aspect or the plumbing aspect or the electrical aspect, she, she's, she's dumb. She can't do it. She's just saying it for, for the clip. She can't do anything. She will, she will be... She will be <laughs> I don't know why they're acting this way. Like it's, and she's seen herself as a majority of women that yeah, we can do it. Whereas the society we live in, a lot of women just don't want to do such work because they, they, they don't find interest in it. But she's feeling like, yeah. Comment below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video as many as you can subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys in this video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku, bitch, you in my bed I got scales all over